Hey everybody, it's Ivy. So today I'm gonna show you how I got this super cute quick weave. It was super easy and oh, I'm in love with this hair. So first things first, I wanna show you my braid pattern. I just did six big braids going back and I have my leave out on the sides and my leave out in the middle, just a little bit. You wanna have a little bit of leave out, you guys. And this is the hair glue that I use, the Super Hair Bond Glue by Salon Pro, the only one I like. It holds forever. You need a wig cap, and you also need that, um, like the Morning Glory wig protectant, quick weave protectant stuff. You're gonna need some blonde thread, and you're gonna need some holding spray. You can use Got to Be, or you can use, you know, this other one by Garnier. You can use any holding spray you have. These two are just my favorites, okay? So, first, we're gonna go ahead and throw on our wig caps, okay? Throw them on, both of them, because we need them for protection. I would actually prefer three, but I only had two. So now we're gonna sew around the perimeter of the wig cap. And you wanna use blonde thread for this, so when you're taking it out, you can see where the thread is, so you won't cut any of your real hair. So yeah, use blonde thread for that. Now this step is optional, it's just a little measure I like to take because y'all, I stay cutting my hair off, taking out my weave, so. Yeah, switch over to the blonde so I can clearly see. And um, now you're going to spray some holding spray onto the cap. And what this does is kind of stick the cap to your braids. And it creates a barrier in between your braids and the glue. That's all this does. And it keeps your cap from sliding as well. And it kind of holds the glue on in place longer as well. Now you're going to take your blow dryer and dry the holding spray. And now it's time to cut the little remaining part of the cap off. And you wanna cut around all the areas that you sewed, as you can see I'm doing here. And it's gonna leave a little bit of your hair exposed, okay? And this is where that um, Morning Glory stuff is gonna come in, okay? And what you wanna do with this is apply it on all the areas where you can see your hair, okay? Because glue is gonna go on top of this stuff and this stuff protects your hair from the glue. You won't get any damage when you use this. I've been using it for years. Um, I use it on clients. It works amazing. All you have to do is wet it down and literally the tracks slide off and the glue slides off. It's like nothing left on your hair. So this is what it looked like after I was done applying that all around. Here's the beautiful hair we're using. And this is from Hair Wonders. One, one, uh, Wonders. And this is their Peruvian Wavy. Oh my God, y'all. If you can feel this hair, like, after I'm done with this quick weave, I'm going to make this hair into a U part because this is some of the best hair I've tried. Like, no, seriously. Like, it's really, really good hair. I don't know what's going on with, with these affordable companies, but yes. And you get so much hair in the pack. Like, look how much hair it is in one bundle. It's so much hair. I only used three bundles for this whole quick weave. And um, now we're going back to our hair, and this is the Morning Glory stuff, hard and dry, protecting my hair. And now we're gonna go ahead and measure out where we want our first track. And this is pretty much how you do it. You add the glue, and you just go ahead and lay the track. And you just wanna keep doing this until you complete your whole head. It's really easy. Um, yeah. it's. It's, it's not that much more to explain. You kind of lay the tracks in kind of like a U shape and just follow the shape of your head all the way up. I mean, that's all I do. I don't know if anybody else has any tricks, but that's what I do. Um, and now I'm almost at the top. And I think I'm going to lay one more track or something on camera. And then I'm going to come back with it all completed because I couldn't see the top of my head. So I had to go do it in the bathroom. So uh, this is what it looks like when I took my uh, leave out out and I have very little leave out as you can see very very little and that's what you want so I can blend seamlessly and now I'm going to go ahead and flat iron my leave out and um, my leave out matches the weave amazing like y'all know I have fine hair my hair is natural but it's fine so when I put heat to it it it, it looks pretty silky because the strands are very fine. 
and this is just the finished result this hair is fluffy it's soft it doesn't tangle this is only three bundles and it's full y'all look at this hair like I was so in love with this hair I was feeling myself I'm very excited to work with hair wonders more um, I'm definitely interested in more textures that they have look at the blend look at the blend look how silky and flat it is like y'all come on this quick weave will have people thinking it's a sew in like y'all I love this hair it's so pretty and fluffy like I'm so in love with it if you guys are interested in this hair I suggest you I suggest you try it out the link will be in the description bar below look at the texture look at the texture and this is a 26 inch and it's hitting at least at least 28 30 on me and I'm 5'3 and it's long baby it's long and it's full I don't have to cut it y'all I'm so in love with this hair thanks so much for watching please don't forget to thumb me up comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one